to the Motion Picture Association of America last year, China is now the third biggest film producer and the second biggest movie market in the world, with 13 new cinemas opening there every day. That's led to higher demand for foreign actors in Chinese films. CCTV's Grace Brown interviewed one of the best-known foreign actors in China. This is the set of a Qing Dynasty comedy in Beijing, but there's something a little different about it. One of the main characters comes from America. Jonathan Koss Reed, or Cao Cao, as he's known in China, came to Beijing after studying acting and Chinese at NYU. After a stint as an English teacher, he saw an ad in a magazine for a foreign actor and replied. Over the last 15 years, he's performed in more than 100 Chinese films and TV shows. There aren't a lot of people who, who can play the white guy in a, in a Chinese movie. I mean, you, you know, there are guys who are much better looking than me. There are guys who are better actors. There are guys who, you know, have better Chinese. But it's hard to have a package. Demand for his services has grown as China's film industry expands. Last year, China's box office raked in more than three and a half billion U.S. dollars, up 27 percent from 2012. And that means even more work for Koss Reed. In his latest TV project, set more than a century ago, he plays an engineer who builds a new train in China, battling bureaucracy and superstition. His real life presents a different set of challenges. In the United States, when people talk on TV, they talk mostly like people talk in real life, right? Uh, but in, in Chinese TV shows and movies, there's a, there's a special kind of language that gets used that's only used on TV. It's not how people talk in real life a lot. And, and so, because I learned all my Chinese just from talking to people, I have trouble memorizing those lines. As a self-described token white guy in Chinese cinema, he's also become something of a one-man bridge between cultures. When I first arrived and first started shooting TV and movies, all the scriptwriters hadn't ever met a foreigner. But now most of the scriptwriters have actually met foreigners, so they write more realistic foreign characters, and they write characters that come from their experience. In recent years, more Hollywood actors have starred in Chinese films, but those who speak the language, like Koss Reed, could be even more popular. They're going to have different love for Jonathan, because when he speaks Chinese, you know, that well, the Chinese fans would think, you know, well, he's one of us. In the next two years, Koss Reed could host a new overseas show, too. Probably going to be doing a, a travel show, an international travel show for Chinese tourists, because Chinese tourism is exploding. His authentic Beijing accent would make Koss Reed as unique in Hollywood as he is here, giving this actor an edge on both sides of the Pacific. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.